10 mistakes to avoid while taking your blood pressure readings. And number 10 will really surprise you. Number 1. Not resting for 5 minutes before taking blood pressure. The standard recommendations require patients to sit for and rest for 5 minutes before they take the blood pressure readings. Because the most important thing which, when it comes to blood pressure is in fact resting blood pressure. And if you run up the stairs or run from your car to the doctor's office, it's very important to rest for a few minutes before taking blood pressure to make sure that you are measuring resting blood pressure. Mistake number two, taking blood pressure readings only once per day. What happens is that our blood pressure tends to fluctuate throughout the day, going up and down. When you see a doctor, they usually ask you to take blood, several blood pressure readings and bring them a diary. Doctors like uh, Peter Atiyah recommend to measure blood pressure at least twice per day. First time in the morning and then another time in the afternoon. Usually it is better to measure it more times per day. Keep a um, blood pressure diary on your phone, which will help you and remind you to take uh, blood pressure readings. Mistake number three, not measuring your blood pressure while having your cough at heart level. So when you put, um, when doctors or yourself put a blood pressure cuff on your hand, uh, you should make sure that this stuff stays, or the cuff stays at the heart level and it's better to either put it on a table or if the height of the table is not high enough uh, to put something under your arm. That will ensure that you're taking the, uh, the blood pressure reading properly. Mistake number four, having coffee or another coffee containing drink before taking a blood pressure measurement. Coffee stimulates the, our heart system. It forces the heart to work harder and hence our blood pressure goes up. Because coffee stimulates our sympathetic nervous system and uh, that means that blood vessels uh, get constricted, they limit the um, blood flow and blood pressure goes up. Therefore, it is recommended to take your blood pressure in the morning before you have your coffee. Uh, coffee will work as a stimulant for at least several hours. It is not a good idea to take your blood pressure measurement within two or three hours after having a drink with a coffee. Mistake number five, taking blood pressure with a full bladder. Very similar to the effect of coffee because if our bladder is full and we need to, to go to a bathroom, uh, several things happen. We get um, excited. Our, um, again, our sympathetic nervous system uh, get activated. That leads to a constriction of blood vessels. Ultimately, it uh, brings the blood pressure up. So a good tip is go to the bathroom and empty your bladder before taking, a blood, before taking a blood pressure measurement. Mistake number six, not uh, putting your uh, cuff of your blood pressure monitor properly on your hand. You should put a cuff of your blood pressure monitor on a bare skin, no cloth are allowed. You should follow the instructions on the cuff to make sure that uh, the cuff is put in the right direction on uh, your hand. Usually they recommend approximately two fingers above the wrist line of your elbow. Another thing to check is that the tie should not be very tight. You should, uh, you should easily insert two fingers before taking the blood pressure measurement. One more important thing related to mistake number six. You should always take blood pressure readings uh, on, on one arm. And the reason for this is that there are fluctuations between blood pressure on one arm and another arm. It is very important once in a while to take blood pressure reading on another arm as well and compare the two readings. 
You will have some difference in the numbers, but if the difference is less than 10 points, nothing to worry about. However, if the difference is more than 10 points, it's a really good idea for uh, your doctor to explore what may be wrong. Take number seven, using a wrist blood pressure monitor versus the upper arm cuff. We discussed earlier, you need to measure blood pressure uh, at your heart level and obviously it is very difficult to balance your wrist blood pressure monitor to keep it at the heart level. And uh, there the always will be some variation between the numbers uh, on the upper arm and on your wrist. Again, for consistency purposes, it's better to use upper arm monitor and uh, many organizations like for example American Heart Association strongly recommend to use upper arm blood pressure monitors because they are more precise. Mistake number eight, talking while taking blood pressure. Some people come to doctor's office, they are uh, really anxious to share what's going on with them and they uh, try to talk while keeping them, uh, their blood pressure taken. Really bad idea. Stay still, put both feet flat on the floor, stop talking, try to be relaxed and if you feel too anxious going in, into the doctor's office before taking blood pressure, do some breathing exercises and we have plenty of these relaxation breathing exercises on our channel. Mistake number nine, taking just one blood pressure measurement at a time. Sometimes you may put your cuff in the wrong way, sometimes uh, you may um, uh, be distracted with something and your blood pressure taken by the device may not reflect the real situation. So doctors recommend to take two, at least two blood pressure readings uh, spaced approximately by one, one and a half minutes. And if the difference in the readings in one measurement and another measurement is more than five points, take a third reason and average the numbers. And finally, the mistake number 10, which has become popular over the last few years, and that is believing that you can measure blood pressure by applying your finger to uh, your phone's camera. Some app developers go out of their way advertising this feature. However, you need to be aware that the current mobile technology does not allow to take blood pressure readings with your phone scanner. So the only reliable way to take blood pressure is a blood pressure monitor with an upper arm cuff. If you like this video, please subscribe, please like it and please share it with your friends and the family. Stay healthy, have a great day.